Hey guys, Save is Untied here. Let me hit start here real quick because that sound, it really like peaks out. It's weird, but here's my new Let's Play of Pokemon White 2, which is, is actually my second recording. I guarantee you I will mention my first recording millions of times. This is why I don't like recording uh, emulator LPs, and I guess it's the curse of you shouldn't go against the law because it just bothers me so much, and I hope you like my little overlay thing. I made it myself in Photoshop. I'm so proud of myself for actually making that. So we're going to get to the actual game, and then I'll start talking about recording errors and all that. Hi there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Professor Junimer. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, even though there's like 15 more of them. And I think that's a normal type Pokemon. People are gonna get mad at me for not remembering. I don't know the sixth generation really that well. The only time I've ever played this. Also, I want to clarify this. Uh, Let's play is blind. It doesn't mean I'm playing with a blind bolt. I'm playing this without any previous knowledge. Well, without previously playing it. I have a bunch of knowledge about Black and Two. Well, I have sort of knowledge about White Two, but my main sixth generation knowledge is from playing Pokemon online and uh, from my blind Let's Play of Black. So yeah. This is gonna be a lot of yelling at me in the comments. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon living and working together and completing each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult tasks. Having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and it deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon and that is why I research Pokemon. That was a weird sentence structure. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? Well, I don't want to get to a death of myself. I am a boy last time I checked, and I don't think I need to double check. Hopefully, I'm confident enough for myself that I can remember that. Also, I should probably just click this instead of going through it with da 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 da. Sorry, I love the little theme. My name is Scott, if you didn't know. Also known as Saves Untitled, as more popularly known on the internet. I mean, everyone knows that. But, Scott, and also for just future reference or anyone who wants to know, I don't know why I'm clarifying this now and I know Scott is a wonderful game yeah Scott is a wonderful game also a wonderful name uh, my name is Scott if you want to comment talk to me in the comments you can use Scott and or save is untitled I or saved I like saved as the shortened version of saves untitled even though it's not actually it gets confusing when people think I'm saved as untitled and I was gonna go with Carlos like actually no I'm going to stick with that from the fad recording hopefully that doesn't do me but I randomly was like, huh, what's a good name? Carlos, even though I have never met anyone named Carlos, we're gonna go with Carlos, and I really hope I did get that right. Scott, I'm gonna trust you with a Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be great partners. The most you choose a Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, we'll meet many people and Pokemon with different personalities and points of view. I hope you really learn what is important as you result of your travels. That's right, be a new Pokemon and grow as a person. And I'm reading this completely wrong. Maybe I should actually slow down, but I don't care. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. And I'm gonna be quiet while this epic thing goes on. I love these little intros, especially the one in black. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. And so there's that little epic intro, and it cuts back, and she is mesmerized by these feathers, and they magically disappear into the ground. I would be as freaked out as her. And it looks like it's time for a phone call. It's like I've played this before. Oh my god. Sorry, stop. Gotta making references to the first recording. Oh, hi. I'm that guy. Built so fly with silk bow tie. I don't know why. I'm so fly. Or a juniper. I'm not going to be able to pronounce things. That's going to be a theme in this Let's Play. It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, Pokedex for my child? Why, that's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. What now? She's already here? For Pete's sake! Hey, wait, I'm not a girl! Don't make fun of me like that! I know you're my mom and you should be, make me sad and be insulting to me, but you don't have to call me a girl! That's just uncalled for. I don't want to be a stupid, stinking girl! Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat, got it? Okay, no worries. 
So it looks like we're reminiscing with some old characters from Black 1. It seems like they're a bit older now and helping out Professor Juniper. I'm guessing this takes place after 1. It would make sense if it's Title 2. That was a really dumb statement. Scott, I'm home! And I'm just randomly sitting in my room just on the internet looking on Reddit and stuff. And I still don't understand what this green thing is on my... What is that supposed to be? I'm guessing really out of style shoes or weights or they look sort of like dumbbells. I I don't know. Maybe it's some Japanese thing that they didn't change the translation to some more something more Americanized. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, Scott. Do you want to have a Pokemon? But I don't really feel like it. What? That's a shock! I will disown you if you say no again! I'll ask you again! Do you want a Pokemon? Yes, Bob, sure! Okay, step one completed! Do you know what a Pokedex is? Uh, sure, whatever! Just stop yelling at you! And it tells us what it is, no matter what. Pokedex is a thing that records your Pokemon? Yeah, I would love a Pokedex, sure! Scott, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. Oh, all the ladies. It's just, it's just a theme in every game. All the ladies flock to me. I mean, my name is Scott, and I'm so hot. It just... Why would you not? That's right. You're going to look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your Poke partner. Oh, your extra receiver's in your bag, right? Do you know how to open your bag, please? Okay, cool. So we don't have to go over that tutorial again, even though we say yes. I was told to look for a big green hat. She might be lost here because this is her first time here. Go look to her. And I'm guessing this wasn't a city we were in in Black 1. I, 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 apparently it's like Asperl City. I, you can kind of see it. I forget where you see it. And sorry, I'm referencing things that didn't happen yet. But I'm pretty sure it's something you didn't see in Black 1. That would make sense if she's never been here. Hey, you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon, really? Oh, you jelly! Scott, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? And Carlos is like, mm, girl, do you, I'm talking to my friends right now. Do you even know who this is? Mm, girl, even though I don't know, I don't think Carlos would be the sassy woman in the brother-sister relationship. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, about that, no. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And that, I need someone who I can trust besides my partner Pokemon, a person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you! Who, me? Oh, that's so sweet of you. You seem nice and have good instincts. See, even the guys were trying to pick me up. I mean, it's just, I just attract you. I'm sorry, you head on home. Okay, big brother. All I can think of is the girl from Wind Waker, who's the, the sister, and she's like, big brother! Bye-bye, Scott. All right, let's go find that person named Bianca. And sadly, we don't get our running shoes right away, but we can slowly, slowly walk, and hopefully I don't have the frame drops like last night. No, my game was, like, freaking out. Sorry I keep referencing the first playthrough, and sorry I already knew the go. I knew where to go in the first playthrough, so I'm going to head up here. First recording, sorry. I'm, I'll am i rant about first recordings later when we have time to talk about things and we're not just going through tutorial stuff. So we head up here. Oh, I get it! The outlook is Asperta City, I'm sorry, most famous spot. I bet Bianca is up there and looking at the scenery. Come on, get your Pokemon already. Don't need to be so mean. Oh, hey there, lady. It's a lovely night. You just got that nice view there. And it's a shame you don't have a big, strong man to help you out, if you know what I'm saying. It's so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? I, I mean, if I had a mirror, I would agree how pretty I am, but... Mm. Oh, my name is Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon professor, Professor Juniper. That seems really redundant. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Scott? Um, I've met him once or twice. Oh, wait, you're Scott. How would she know that from us just saying yes? I guess the inflection could be like, yeah, if we answered it like with our voice. But I guess, I don't know. She's magical. Wow, you're exactly, exact, how would you do that? Ex, 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 I don't know, like what I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? And we already realized what happens when they say no. We're just, they're just like, oh, did I hear you? And so we're just going to go with yes. Oh, wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokedex is totally fun. 
Oh, okay, see you later. Thanks for the Pokemon and the stuff that you didn't actually give me. So let's go back and actually get the meat of the conversation going on. I really like that panning angle when you come up. Okay, then. Ta-da! Here's the po- And here's the Pokemon that will be your partner. And then we get a cool little animation of Bianca on the bottom screen. <gasps> we show the bottom screen now in this last play. This is what I do it for. This is Fancy Saves on title. So, uh, if you follow my history of Let's Plays, you'll know which uh, type I'll be choosing. So, in my first Black Let's Play, I went with Snivy. Snivy is really fun, also known as Petey. I love my Petey, though. It's just an awesome grass snake. In my Coliseum Let's Play, I went with uh, Cyndaquil, who I think was Quillava at the time. So, I'm not going to go with Tepig. So, that only leaves the one type I haven't used. Ashwat. Ashawat, sorry. He just so cute. I mean... Tapig is kind of cute, and Snivy is just like, he's adorably like sassy, he just looks like a sass master, but Ashwat is by far the cutest, and he's, I, I really, I always love the water types, ah, uh, I guess first generation is the only water type I don't really, really love, I like Totodile, I like Mudkip, I like uh, Piplup, I like Ashwat, and oh, why did I forget a generation, no I don't think I did, so I'm going to pick Ashwat after talking and babbling about that for a while. So yeah, that's going to be your partner for this entire game. And the funny thing about this is, you and your Ashwat are a perfect match. I know, it's like you've said this before. By the way, would you like to give your Pokemon a, the, the, the Pokemon you chose a nickname? So I was, oh, and it's a girl, oh, that kind of ruins my name. Ah, oh, we can have an odd name girl. Because I usually don't pay attention to the genders anyway in Pokemon. So basically what happened in my first playthrough, I named, I was going in between two names. Osgood, which is the name of something I have. It's called Osgood Slaughter's Disease. That's a long story. I probably told that multiple times. And Oswald, which is just... Oswald is cool when I think of a giant purple uh, octopus. So I chose Oshwa, Osgood, Osgood, and I completely screwed up my entire recording. So, with that bad luck, and I'm sorry I keep on complaining and bitching about that, and oh, harsh language, I didn't mean to say that, I'm sorry you kids out there, but I'm going to go with Oswald that I hopefully didn't spell wrong, and if I did spell wrong, I meant to do that, it's, it's like when you name someone Ladasha, and it's L-A, and then an actual dash, not Dasher, uh, is that the nickname you want? Yes, Oswald the Oswald, Osh Oshawa. Uh, that sounds, that definitely sounds like a circus act, that's such a great name, I know, you don't even have to tell me twice. Thank you. Now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too, a Pokedex. And the Pokedex keeps on getting more advanced and advanced the further we go on in uh, Pokemon Generations. It looks more like the uh, cell phone at that time. Even though I don't think first generation there really was that many cell phones. Do you want to know what it does? Pokedex is a high-tech device that automatically records a Pokemon you counter. So basically it just shows your record of all the Pokemon you've seen. If you haven't played a Pokemon game before, it's okay, it'll be okay. Just get some and you'll be fine. But seriously, come on, go play a Pokemon game if you haven't played one. They're really enjoyable. Don't say they're too kiddish or you're too old. They're amazing games. Hey, how long are you playing to keep me waiting anyway? Hey, what's that? Oh, you even more, jelly. So that's your partner, huh? That's great. Oh, yeah, that's great. That's totally what I meant. He's so jealous. My sorority said so, but take really, really good care of your Pokemon. And you're making fun of her for that. Carlo, you're a jerk. I, I just think of the character from Magic School, School Bus. They're just like, Carlos. What's that you're holding there? It's a Pokedex. He's super jelly! He's peanut butter jelly time! That's a really old reference. Please give me a Pokedex too! I want to get stronger! If I have a Pokedex, I can learn more about Pokemon and that make me tougher, right? Way to be up front, Carlos! Carlos knows how to get the ladies. Um, who are you again? Uh, I'm Bianca. I think you know to talk better to me like that. I'm Carlos! I'm going to travel the Unova region with my Pokemon partners in order to research for something very important. My soul! Well, that works, too. Well, okay, I don't really get it, but going on a journey is always good. Anyway, I just happen to have another Pokedex on me. It looks like a Pokemon distribution has really changed compared to two years ago. So I guess that's the timeline that it's taking place on, that it was two years ago from the Black Events that she's... That sounds like some terrible horror movie, the Black Events. So the more the merrier. 
So Carlos is finally on the same level as us. Actually, he'll never be on the same level as us. So let's see how happy he is to do this. Oh, he's got a fancy dance move. Let's see how good a trainer you are. I'll use my Snivy. He apparently has the type advantage over us. Randomly. Oh, yeah, I just totally had this. Hey, he probably had like three Pokemon on him. He's just like, oh, threw these two Pokeballs in the thing. Oh, you got a water type. Okay. I randomly just, uh, crazy random happenstance, have a grass type. And I really, really hope this will go better than my first time, because I was like, yeah, I've never lost one of these uh, first boss fights before, and I proceed to lose. Not even a critical, he just out-stupids me. So let's hopefully get this fight done really easily. I hope I'll get lucky, or just not bad EVs that got me. I won't forget the pain you just put my thought partner through. I just tackled him, man. He really can't be that hurt. I mean, I like tackle, tackle my dog all the time. Hopefully that doesn't hurt him that much. And I really like Ash, Oswald the Oswald. I'm I'm gonna go back and forth between his special name and his actual name. I like his little animation. It includes him like throwing his shell around. It just He's so cute. Even his back spread. I don't know. I just really like... I have, I have a thing for water types. Just don't judge me. But it looks like we're actually going to win this fight because he's not a uh, smart guy like the other one I fought. So let's beat his idiot grass snake down. And the remnants of PD will never be remembered. And hopefully we'll get a level. Awesome. That's great to start off level. And now Ashwa is level 6. And I don't believe he gets anything right. Oh, ooh, okay. I thought we were going to get two levels. That'd be nice. I can achieve victory for my partner. I won't let myself forget this frustration. Jeez, you're such a drama queen. You're more of a drama queen than Bianca. Oh, I just called you a girl. What are you gonna do? I lost. This is different than battling with wild Pokemon. Well, whatever. I'm happy just to know you're a trainer I can count on. Cool, I'm heading off first. Get stronger. Gotta go fast. The Pokemon on both sides did their best, but this little one is still weak, so battle with it and make it stronger. Don't call my Pokemon weep. Oswald is the best Pokemon ever. Ever. Already, let's go make your Pokemon better at the Pokemon Center. It's like the best place ever for Pokemon who battle and get hurt. And she just sounds like that stereotypical, just like, oh my god, uh, I love Pokemon and I gotta heal them at the Pokemon Center. The Pokemon Center is the same no matter where you are. Let's go inside. Let's go shopping. Oh god, that was terrible. And the typical Pokemon follow music that gets used again. And let's see if I can try to replicate this awesomeness. She'll show us around the Pokemon Center and heal our Pokemon. Pokemon Center, here's our Pokemon for free and we can do this. Come anytime, healthcare is free, heal it for a second, yo worry me, I don't know. Uh, and you have to screw it up with the little healing thing. Now I'm off my game cause that changed the thing, let's go over to the PC and let's do this. This square thing is a PC. Any trainer can use it for free. Let's go here, deposit Pokemon. Also, you can withdraw them and you can walk over here. The next thing is up here and then we can walk to the shop. We'll buy things, so many things. This is the Pokemon you can buy and sell many different items. I cannot do this anymore. So you get Pokeballs here and thankfully we get our Pokeballs really early in this game. There's no running back the Professor Oak. I really hated that in the first game where you had to go through a bunch of wild Pokemon and you couldn't catch any in the first time and then you had to come all the way back. I think that's that's for a lot of the games it's that. I think first, at least three or four, I haven't played fourth generation wild, at least the first three generation I think it rolls like that. I'll show you how to use those Pokeballs, follow me. So I think we're gonna end it off here for this episode of Pokemon Black. On the next episode we will head out into the wild and let Bianca show us uh, how to use those Pokeballs. So I've been Saves Untitled. If you enjoyed, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'm really happy to start a new Let's Play. I've been Saves Untitled, and I will see you guys next time. Da, 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 do, 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 do. I can't sing, but I'll pretend it anyway. This isn't even with the beat. I don't care, cause I'm happy, and I don't know why.